I got into woodworking kind of out of necessity. When we moved here, we didn't have a lot of furniture, so I had to make some. Most of the earlier stuff I've made uh, was made with simple tools, not much more than a table saw and a hand drill. They're all made using cheap materials that are readily available at the local hardware store. I was lucky to have a couple of colleagues that live nearby with a wood shop. I was using the wood shop to make these things and I vowed that I was going to try every tool in the shop and I pretty much stopped at the lathe and that's how I started getting into making the lamps and the bowls and other things. I made this computer desk simply out of some cheap lumber from a hardware store as well as some table legs from Ikea. I made this art cart for my art supplies although I may make it the shop cart. Speaking of art I made this art shelf put my art supplies on for larger pieces paper. I made this cabinet. Simple design with simple tools and cheap lumber from the local hardware store. I made a couple of side tables for the bedroom. Once I started getting a little fancier, I made stuff like this lamp and this lamp. I made this shoe rack as well as this sculpture. Some of you may recognize it as Delicate Arch in Arches National Park in Utah. I'm not the only do-it-yourselfer in this house. My wife refinished this dresser as well as this chair. Not to mention the headboard for this bed. I made this desk for my wife's office. Simple design with simple materials. I made this coffee table which has a matching bench. I made this chess set. I made another chess set as well. It was a little smaller than this one. I made many other sculptures. Bowls. Bowl. And when I was making bowls, I had a whole bunch of offcuts, so I made this sculpture and I called it Scrappy. Get it? It's scraps. Bowl, 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 bowl. Oh yeah, I made this picture frame too, and this is my painting. When we first moved into this house just recently, this door opened in and it was hitting the washer when it opened so you couldn't open this door all the way so what I did was I just completely removed the door and the door jam and moved it and remounted it so it opens out instead of in. Also the door to this storage closet was rotten on the bottom so what I did was I got a new door and put a new frame on and mounted the door. Unfortunately the bottom got perforated so I actually had to repair it again with some epoxy. Not a very tidy job, but it worked. Of course, Levi helps. I have more projects in mind, of course, so hopefully you'll keep watching. See you next time.